Well, hey folks, research here again. This is level 8 sabotage at Lynchburg. The description over here kind of leads you to believe that maybe this is going to be an undercover mission. Soldiers as well as officers were known to disguise themselves as their enemy, impersonating local ac accents, uh, donning enemy uniforms. There's, uh, there's none of that in this level uh, the south but it's still as interesting well as the north used secret agents and saboteurs to gather intelligence and destroy important targets there were none better than sheridan scouts union spies who often posed as confederate soldiers to carry out their missions being exposed was costly as wearing the wrong uniform was considered an act of espionage punishable by death the war approaches its bloody end, with the southern capital now encircled by Union troops. General Grant orders Sheridan scouts to seize Lynchburg, destroying all military depots and munitions in the area. This will sever all communication and supply links from the besieged cities of Richmond and Petersburg with the Shenandoah Valley. If the mission succeeds, it will pave the way for a northern victory. Man, the general's counting on us. That stone wall right at the ridge. Our job is to infiltrate their lines, blow up some cannons, and try not to get killed. Any questions? Good. Let's move. Okay, so maybe there was some spy thing happening before this. We're in a peach orchard. Beautiful peaches up on the trees until you look closely and you see their sprites they still look pretty good but before we go forward we're going to go back we've got a uh, a little secret item in here there's a letter as usual they're not the most interesting letters all seem to be written by the same handwriting but that's all right Battle of Lynchburg happened pretty late in the war. This is 1864, so we're into the last six or seven months of the war. Here. What's this guy? Huh. Uh, and Lynchburg, this is Lynchburg, Virginia, not Lynchburg, Tennessee. So not the, uh, not the whiskey producing place. So here we go. You don't you don't see this many people in this game at once usually. So this is kind of fun. So we're gonna have a little shootout. Us behind these logs and them behind those uh, those barricades. There's a name for those. The the baskets full of dirt, but it escapes me. Okay. This this is one of the parts in this game that can seem frustratingly long if you don't know what's going on. If you sit here and snipe at these guys in the lower position, they will continue to respawn endlessly. And so will your guys. So you'll just have these waves going back and forth, back and forth. But the next objective will never trigger. You have to kill the guys up on the rise here, these fellas. And I think one additional wave shows up again. So there's three fellas up there right now. You knock them out and then three more show up. And then you can advance. Now, if you don't know about that, you can't just be popping off shots left and right because, you know, we're still using this muzzle load rifle there's a delay involved there so that that was that was surprising and frustrating to me at first I thought maybe that a maybe a trigger hadn't uh, hadn't fired but uh, but no turned out I was just shooting the wrong people so that's all right I've got it now so Lynchburg was kind of interesting so again pretty late in the war this is uh, June of 1864. Now, Lynchburg was a uh, supply in a hospital center, uh, and it was also a connection on the railroad that supplied the Confederate Army. You saw on the briefing map there that Lynchburg is very close to Richmond. There we go. The event triggered, and now we can go. We've got to take out the remaining guys here. Okay, so it starts me off with a shotgun, which is a lot of fun. I like this shotgun. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we'll try to get this guy real quick here. All right, let's get him. Something's oh, wrong here. okay. Let's just let's just get him. Okay, 
Looks like our uh, fence ghost has followed us. Oh, man. I'm too close to these baskets. There's some sort of... Oh. Okay. All right. I picked up the Spencer just to shoot him real quick, but I want my shotgun back. But it has despawned, so... That's it for that. I hope I'm not making it seem like I don't like this game. I do. It's actually pretty darn fun. But it's uh it's it's got some it's got some challenges. So, let's see here. So, um who are the uh, the main fellas there? Uh General Early was a big player in the uh in the Lynchburg Attack uh, arrived in Lynchburg at uh, one o'clock on June 17. Uh, Robert E. Lee himself sent him in there. Uh, ran into some dismounted cavalry entrenched at a house. Oh boy, we're on the wrong end of a Gatling gun in this mission. And then these boxes can oh yep can be destroyed. There's destructible cover. Now, grenades, of course, are the best way to clear these guys out. And you can see there's the Battle of Lynchburg raging back behind. I miss my shotgun, but it really would not be very effective in this attack right here. So the Confederates were outside Lynchburg. They were driven back after a brigade moved in to uh, support Avril. And look at this. this. This part's a little bit sneaky. When you walk up to this Gatling gun, guys start spawning behind you very quickly. And so if you're not ready for that, if you don't immediately jump on this gun and start firing, uh, you're overwhelmed very quickly. I thought that was, that was kind of sneaky, kind of clever, forcing you to be paying attention. Lynchburg was a... Uh, oh, look at this. I got my pistol back. That's almost as good as a shotgun. So Lynchburg was was a fairly sizable engagement. Uh, 16,000 on the uh, on the United States side, on the Union side. 14,000 on the Confederate side. Hold on. All right. So what we're supposed to do in this mission is clear out an artillery position. I'm not sure what all that stuff at the beginning of the level was about being a spy and sneaking around. I don't... Maybe this level was originally intended to be something else, but there's really not much opportunity for stealth in this series. I could see that, maybe from someone else. Here we go. More of our, uh, our wounded guys. You have my gratitude. So we'll do our best to clean all these guys up. You know, what What I find interesting about including this attack, this battle, in the game here is we're playing on the Union side, but the Union lost the Battle of Lynchburg. That was a, uh, that was considered a, a Confederate victory. So that's kind of neat. Uh, I appreciate that uh, that the game is not just giving us levels where the side we're playing for is always the victor. Okay, we've cleared out this first position. I see some glowing red over there. Hey, that's a bad guy. There we go. So we've got some cannon lying around over here, and we can use them. But first, let's get this. 
Oh, yes, I'm sure that's an authentic Civil War photograph. That's very convincing. Oof. So the thing's exploding everywhere. Nothing damages you, though. So, you remember this from the Pittsburgh. Nice self-reloading 12-pounder. But let's look at this battle. I see what they were going for here. But if you're going to use sprites like that, maybe don't let them get so close. Uh-oh. Or don't give the player a sniper rifle. Now, I just saw quite a few sprites fall to their deaths, and we're, we're going to shoot quite a number of people here in this, um, in this level, but my understanding about the Battle of Lynchburg is that there were actually very, very few casualties uh, on, on either side. So I, I, think, I think this is going to be kind of the Civil War equivalent of the, uh, the Pearl Harbor levels that you get in some of the World War II games where you as the player manage to shoot down more planes personally than were shot down in the entire attack. Uh, I think uh, I think this is quickly turning into one of those. I don't think this many people died in this attack. But it doesn't matter. That's uh, this is the fun part here. All right, so we'll clear out the clear out the guns. I'm gonna hit him. Yeah, the uh, the melee is still just as effective as ever. Someone's still shooting. There we go. Okay, one more interesting thing. Yep, another one of our historical characters here. I should know who that is. Considering this is Lynchburg, if I had to guess, I'd say that's probably Jubal Early, but I, I just can't remember what he looks like. All right. Here's our last position. Very end of the level. End of the level already. All right, another Gatling gun. All my guys are gone. But look at this convenient cannon. Oh, they're going to let me try again. If I had to guess, I'd say that very likely this, uh, this attack didn't actually play out like this. One guy on a 12-pounder. Ah, and here's our last injured guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, come on. Just gotta get the angle right. And we've got him. Okay, now he can help me take out this position. Uh, uh that's alright, I got it. Okay, last guy. Let's see if we can... Lob him. Catch. Okay, objective completed, and oh, and yeah, there it is. Just, just ends. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, seventy-one enemies killed. Uh, as far as I understand, uh, there were only seventy-five people killed in that entire engagement. So. Hmm. Anyway, we're coming up, uh, we're getting close to the end of the game over here. The next level's pretty interesting. Go, it gets real heavy on the urban combat, but, uh, but this one, this one was all right, I suppose. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.